Good morning. We're going to be looking at imaginary numbers and multiplication. So I would like you to make the note right here of to use a cycle of the imaginary unit with the powers. So it's going to be i to the first, i to the second, i to the third, and i to the fourth. So that's what this is right here. So this is going to be the cycle. As we're going through these, the most important one that you're going to work with is going to be I squared because that's going to change the sign of your um, product when you have I squared in, as a result. So <clears throat> when we do multiplication, we're just going to multiply them like natural. So we're going to have 35 I squared. We said that I squared equals negative 1. So we're going to say 35 times negative 1, negative 35. You have B. We're going to look at PEMDAS. You realize that an exponent also includes a square root. <clears throat> so an exponent is also a square root. Four I times ten I, forty I squared. 40 times negative 1, negative 40. 32i squared, 32 times negative 1, negative 3. Times 3i, 36i squared. 36 times negative 1, negative 36. Okay, let's go ahead and look at number 3. So we're going to say times the square root of 24 times i times the square root of 54. i, we're going to expand. times i, 9 times 6, then we're going to look at the perfect squares, Two i square root of 6, e i square root of 6, we're going to simplify or multiply, remember is i squared equals negative 1. Say <clears throat> 2 times 3i. So I have 6i squared. Then I'm going to say square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is going to give me 6. I'm going to simplify again, 6 times negative 1 times 6, my answer is negative 36. We're going to distribute the exponent, so I now have 9 squared times i squared. 81 times negative 1, negative 81. Alright, let's go ahead and look at number 5. This is I, and then you have parentheses. Your copy will have the last set of the parentheses. So it's going to have <clears throat> the square root of negative 8 minus the square root of negative 72. And we're going to do PEMDAS. We're only going to use the parentheses first. So inside the parentheses is first. So we're going to say i times i square root of 8 minus i square root of 72 parentheses. Keeping the i on the outside, i times the square root of 4 times 2 minus i 
times the square root of 36 times 2. Times square root of 2 minus 6i square root of 2. We're going to collect like terms. We're going to work with this minus that. Okay, square root of 2. Negative 4 i squared square root of 2. Square root of 2. Square root of 2. times a negative i is going to be an i squared. That's the first part going down. The second part going down is going to be times 2i. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and bring it down. So this is still multiplication. And then in the last step, we're going to say negative 1 multiplied by 2i, negative 2i. Okay, these are the last two. So I have i, and then parentheses. So I have i square root of 12 plus i square root of 27. We're going to expand. equals i square root of 4 times 3 plus i square root of 9 times 3. So I now have i times 2i square root of 3 plus 3i square root of 3. <clears throat> then I'm going to collect like terms. So I have i times 5i square root of 3. And then when i distribute the i's, 5i squared square root of 3, 5 times negative 1 times the square root of 3, negative 5 square root of 3. I have to simplify here, so I'm going to say i times i times the square root of 96 times the negative square root of 96, i squared times the square root of 96 times the negative square root of 96, negative square root of 96 times negative square root of 96 is going to give me 